Okay, so, uh, so I've got a great question on, like, in a certain area, like health, um, there is, you know, there was very challenging early circumstances, and yet, you know, the health tends to be good, and that's not a problem. But there's another area, say, finance, where there isn't that effortless flow that, and, and effortless uh, experience that there is around the health area, and how do you transfer it? Now, it's um, the thing with me was uh, I had a lot of health issues. I got in touch with Hawkins' work, and he said quite a few things which really, really helped. One is uh, that su such a thing as karma. Karma could be thought of as the level of cerebr cerebr I can't speak today. Uh, how severe the uh, the beliefs are. Like you can have, you know, like. Uh, extreme karma would be that these beneath beliefs are very tenacious uh, and uh, uh, and also it comes through muscle testing that past lives exist so you know like um, it could be uh, that I did things in my one lifetime that affected my health quite badly but in terms of money like I'm pretty confident I was a hat thief uh, in spiritual temples I, I, if I take the karmic thing, if things keep happening on a repeated thing, they give clues to something. And if I lose hats and scarves every time I go to spiritual groups, I intuit that, you know. Anyway, I might have been a thief for many lifetimes. Now, the thing with like letting go of a belief is that I could be holding a belief and it could have disastrous consequences for me, but it might be quite quick for me to release it and then for those situations to be mopped up relatively quickly. But then when I try and cancel a belief in another area in which I'm facing severity, it can seem, well, I'm doing a lot of work on that and still that hasn't yet budged. And, and so it can seem like, well, you know, if I could let go of, say, kidney failure in three years or cancelling that, then surely I should be able to let go of uh, poverty in at least three years and then I might find after three years that I'm still struggling with money and then, then be perplexed like well I did it there and you know and it worked and but it seems to be much more difficult and I think you know in in those situations if you have access to past life re past life research can be done through hypnosis and through muscle testing uh, it's often found that with things which are hard to shift there's quite what I call heavy karma, or in terms of belief systems, those beliefs tend to, a lot of repressed feelings and those beliefs are very tenacious, and so it seems like you have to do a, a lot more work uh, to, before they, they'll shift, and then spiritual students can get very frustrated, you know, it's like, well, and I get this a lot because I'm around spiritual people uh, very frequently, like I've done so much work on this and it hasn't shifted yet, you know, am I doing something wrong, um, you know, is God trying to punish me, uh, I've been a good spiritual student, I don't deserve this, you know, you know, like, uh, you know, or I'm going to give up. The um, thing that helped me was that, um, you know, there's different levels of karma and, and also for me it's like if I'm doing the work, to be happy with the work, uh, I, and I was sort of, um, I mean like with money, um, the, the two aspects are the repressed feelings, you know, like if I'm feeling frustrated around the area or feeling in lack, you know, just sitting with that lack until that energy every day, until, oh, I, I don't feel the energy of lack, or if it's a belief, even if that belief is like you're seeing your bank statements and they're reinforcing a belief that there isn't enough letting go of that, or there could be deeper work, like I don't deserve, there's some feeling of unworthiness, so on some level the unconscious is sabotaging. Oh yeah, actually I feel shit about myself. Uh, or actually all I believe, you know, and this is normal stuff, all rich people aren't spiritual. You know, uh, you know I'm going to be very spiritual, but uh, you know, if you're rich, that, that means you're bad. Or, or rich people are bad, and if you're not aware of that, something is like, okay, I mean, I've seemed to be re released a lot of feelings, I feel relatively peaceful, um, 
not sort of thing, but yet there's not much money around. Uh, you know, and I go to, uh, and I, I know that these unconscious beliefs, they do, they do have a strong effect, even if you're, even if, even if you're not aware of them, they have a, uh, a lot of uh, things. Like even the idea of, of, of a lot of abundance, financial abundance, um, that's something uh, that seems for some reason that shouldn't be, shouldn't be had or it's for other people. Uh, so anyway, there's a lot of investigative work, a lot of theory. The other thing I would say is like, you know, with health stuff, for myself, I was willing to put in a lot of ferocious work on a very consistent basis. I, and it seemed like the health stuff shifted. With other stuff, you know, it would be nice for stuff to shift. But actually, am I willing to do that? Like, I'll give, I'll give an example. I sometimes joke with, to, with somebody in the room about this. Like, I'm bald, you know, and, uh, and it doesn't bother me. But, I, you know, if it was something that I wanted to shift that belief, I know it's, it involves a lot of spiritual work and I have to, like, focus a lot of spiritual work to start to release the strong entrenched belief. I've got, I've got no hair on my head. But, so, actually, I don't, I don't want to do the work. You know, I don't want to spend hours cancelling my belief in bowl. I've got other things. I've got, I've got other things that I want to let go of. I mean, that's like I'm not going to get round to that one. You know, in this lifetime, because there are there are things like that, that I'm not going to do. And actually, when there's not, you know, I think people who can let go of things, there is a kind of a there's like a passion you know, to release that and to be fully free of that. And if there's not a passion, I mean, like if I have an area which I, I would like to be free of, but it's like, I'm not that bothered about it, but I, I really like it to be free. Um, I end, and so I'm talking about myself, I end up not putting in ferocious work to get it done because, you know, like boldness, I wouldn't at all. Um, like with my financial situation, uh, it's okay. Uh, and probably would get a lot better if I did a lot more work around it. Like I cancel my belief that rich people are bad, I, I, cancel, I cancel my jealousy for millionaires or, or whatever. If I did more work around it, probably, I'm pretty sure more money would show up. Am I bothered to do that level of work? Because I feel quite okay. Uh, not really. I don't really want to do too much work on it. Uh, I don't mind doing a little bit of work on it. So, you know, getting to that, that I feel abundant and that I've let go of every single limitation around, let's say it was money, and I, you know, I found out, well, what are all the limiting beliefs in the collective consciousness? I get, you know, sometimes you can just go Google, what are limiting beliefs around money? You know, so you get a few hundred of them go, yeah, I think I've got that one, I think I've got that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, or let me look at my life. Is there much money showing up? Or do I feel it's very hard? I have to do a lot of work to... Yeah, every time I have to get money, I feel I have to do a lot of work and it's really tiresome. So, okay. So am I willing to put in that work? And sometimes I'm not, you know, so it's, that is actually, if I want to... So I'm not actually, to be honest, I'm, you know, my money situation is okay. It's not like I'm not a mega millionaire or anything. I haven't got a Ferrari or 97 Rolls Royces, I haven't got a palace that I live in. Um, if it was a big thing that I wanted to do a lot of work on, and I, I felt, oh, I mean, there's another thing, I won't go into it today, on, you know, as you change, as your spiritual, as you grow spiritually, the things that you're attracted to at lower vibrations are no longer attractive. When I was at a much lower vibration, the idea of having a lot of wealth was much more attractive, you know, at that time would have been much more I'd have been more willing to do the work, and some things become less and less attractive to do the work. But uh, I would say, like, if you've released it on one area uh, uh, with time, because the time is just feeling out the repressed feelings and finding, doing the invest, and there's a level of investigation, you know, like what's showing up in my life. Let me reverse engineer that to see what kind of belief I've got. If every time I'm unconscious that, I feel like I'm working really hard to make money and I'm not aware that that's, that's probably a belief. I have to be conscious of it and then cancel it. So there's a lot of stuff as well. 
So if, you're, if it's like a money area and it seems, well, I'm doing a lot of work and it's still a bit bad, there's probably, and if you're feeling relatively good and you felt out your feelings, there's probably beliefs you have to find that you're not aware of that are out of consciousness. Um, that, you know, I'd like more effortless abundance to show up and it's not showing up. And I feel quite good. I'm not feeling in lack. So then you have to investigate. Like, do I potentially have this or look at other people's ones or... Oh, I know John, and he just has money showing up left, right, and centre all the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I and I, it's really difficult. You know, what's the difference? You know, and, and what do you believe, John? I believe money just grows on trees. You know, <laughs> nobody <laughs> believes. <laughs> but you know, it's like um, so. Anyway, yeah. Thank you.